Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. I have this 1965 Dodge D100 Uteline truck. She's for sale. The uh, D100 designates a, a half ton series. Uh, it's a Uteline. You can see the, the way the rear fender is cut out like that um, versus a swept line. Um, so I picked up this truck about a year ago, used it for hauling lumber and, and yard waste and sticks and branches and so forth. And I've had some fun with it. And now it's time to move on to something else. So wanted to introduce it to you, show you what I did with it in the time that I've had it, and um, let's see if you're interested, let's see what you like about it. So I picked this thing up uh, about a year ago out of uh, northern New Jersey, it was for sale, um, and it wasn't running right, it wasn't looking right, the stance was wrong, a lot of things weren't put together on it uh, properly, so I got it running and driving nicely. I uh, yanked off the old wheels and tires, there was snow tires on the back of it, um, it was a full six inches higher than it is today um, lowered the rear of it did an axle swap cut the perches off and lowered it down shortened the axle and got that balance and pulled out some of the leaf springs out of the front to balance out the ride uh, I worked on keeping the, the patina the best I could just cleaning it up and preserving it matching it up uh, I believe it came out of I don't know it could have been Kansas with uh, Dodge City could have been Missouri. There's a Colorado. Um, there's a Dodge City in, in Colorado somewhere. Uh, but I wanted to keep the look as much as possible and just clean up the stance and uh, and make it a nice driving vehicle. So I think I got that uh, while preserving it the best I could. So you can see it's pretty clean. Pretty worn out. Which was exactly what I was looking for with all the yard waste and and trash I wanted to haul out of the out of the uh, the backyard here. I cleaned up the wheels, stripped them down, painted everything a cream. I wanted to match the roof the best I could, and I put the white walls on as well. I wanted to match the color of the roof and use that as a, as a contrast to the red on everything. So, um, stripped down the bumper, the grill, the mirrors. Cleaned up the inside a little bit, recovered the seat, repadded the seat. There was a whole bunch of auxiliary gauges on here. I yanked those out, got the dash gauges working. And, you know, it's just a nice driving truck now. Uh, brakes are top notch. It's one of the first things I did with the. Uh, was uh, I saw the rear axle seals were leaking, so I yanked out the rear differential, pulled out the axles, replaced the seals, replaced everything in the brake system from the master cylinder. Uh, down to the shoes, the hardware, uh, the hoses, even the hard lines are new. Uh, everything is is 100% on the brake system. The clutch is strong and firm. It operates at the top of the travel. It shifts tight and smooth. Um, no play at all in the shifter. It's just a nice, easy driving truck that's dependable and starts every time. Uh, the engine is a Slant 6. has about... 70,000 miles on it, 71, which I think are original. And it's just a pleasant driving truck. So let's pop the hood, take a look. So something unique about these Dodges is that they got this pretty cool ribbed, uh, I guess wheel well. Nice for tools. Uh, something else is about the hood. It can go all the way up. A straight 90 degrees. Check that out. Pretty cool. Gives you easy access into there. Just a straight six. Uh, someone's been playing with it in the past with the colors and you know spray painting it. But generally, stock. Stock carburetor, intake, exhaust. I had some plans of doing a split manifold on it. It just didn't plan out that way. Um, there's a new master cylinder, a new battery went in a few months ago. Uh, but generally just grimy, dirty, but dependable as anything. It starts easy, runs great, no problems at all with it, uh, mechanically at all. Whether it's the engine, transmission, differential, brakes, it's all fantastic. In the bed of the truck, I chose to go with just some some decking just simply because of the way I was using it hauling things around I've got new uh, maple planks 
and stainless steel strips as well to go in there. I just chose not to put them in simply because of what I was doing with the truck for the time being. Uh, but they'll go with the truck as well, as well as uh, some knickknacks and spare parts I've got, whether they're gauges or a new dash panel and some bracing um, brackets and other things like that that had come off the truck over the, over the years that I had gotten with it, uh, and they'll go with the truck as well. Uh, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the side molding here. Uh, they're stainless originally. I just sprayed the beige on them just to match everything else on the truck. I've got each of the pieces of the molding even though I don't have them all on. I was still experimenting with what I like and don't like about it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of have no opinion I guess on if I like the beige molding or not. Maybe they'll go back to stainless. Maybe they'll, I'll spray them like a red oxide so they match the, the color of the body. They blend in better. But generally, eh, they're there. It doesn't do anything for me though. I recovered the seats. Uh, double padded the seats as well and the door panels. Um, the same beige. I took the shifter out and sprayed that. Um, has a manual choke. Everything works on it. The wipers, the vents, headlights, turn signals, park and brake. Everything works fine on it. Like I said, it's just nice, easy, dependable truck. It's fun. I can leave outside. I don't worry about scratches or dents. Um, don't worry about getting rained on. It's just a, a, a real pleasant, easy driving truck. So why don't we hop in and take a drive? All right, let's get in, see if we can do this. See how we can uh, start this and show you how things work in here. Uh, all right, haven't, uh, haven't driven it since yesterday. I'm going to, so to be a, be a cold start. When it's mild like this in the summertime, a pump of the pedal and a turn of the key usually cranks it up. Starts pretty easy, and that's pretty consistent. It's, that's normal for it. In the winter time, you pull the uh, you pull the choke, pull the choke out, and give it a crank, and she fires right up. So it's a four-speed manual. First gear is an underdrive. Goes into first pretty easily. Second and third and fourth. You can see it's not a lot of play at all in the shifter. And that's neutral. And then reverse is over and down for reverse. With the rear axle uh, being a 410, first gear being an underdrive is so slow. You're not getting very far, but you can pull a house with this thing. Uh, we'll roll through the gears and, and show you how this works. <laughs> 